Oop. Here we go. Right. So today we're going to start March Mission Inspiration, and I'm going to do it on these book pages, which I'm going to stick together to make a nice strong page. And this is out of a book that I bought to do like an altered book journal. It's going to be my new journal when I finish my old one. And yeah, so these are the pages that I've torn out to make the book a bit smaller to work on, thinner, because the pages will bulk out, so you have to remove some pages. reason I'm using the dry glue is so that it doesn't buckle the pages. They should just sit nicely. I've used a lot to make sure that it does together nicely. Okay. So that's my page that I'm going to work on. And I'm going to start with ingredient number two. Um, I don't have food packaging, but I have some tags and things, so I'm going to use those. Just going to use the print stick today, I think. Hopefully, just add a nice bit of background texture, break up some of that text that we've got. a band for my yarn so just add a little bit of that Step I'm going to do is number three. So I need to just grab out my texture paste and the stencil, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I've never used this stencil before. But it's got a nice floral theme. Um, just hoping that it works nicely with this acrylic paste. So I'm going to put some out on my little mat. That's probably too much. Yeah, it's going on quite nicely actually. I've thought about this one a little bit, so I kind of know where I'm going. Kind of. bit in this top corner just with what's left on here there we go now then so we need that to dry So, what I might do is, I should probably go and have something to eat, and then I'll come back, and we will continue and add some colour, I think. So, see you in a moment. <coughs> so, I'm going to add some colour, and the prompt is add gesso mixed with the colour. So we'll pop some gesso down and grab some paint in this light green which is a fairly close match to the spring green. It will be once it's mixed with the gesso anyway. So there we go. Uh, I won't put any more out for now. I can put some more out if we need to. Okay, so I'm going to uh, grab a fairly soft brush. I'm going to add some water. I'm not going to mix it together on the palette. I'm going to sort of do a really messy painterly kind of My brush is dirty because I'm getting some 
weird color coming through there. In that area up a little bit, a bit dark. There we go. That is one of our suggested colours used. I'm actually going to be quite good this time. I think I'm pretty much using all three suggested colours. I don't know what coat I'm going to use yet. But we shall see. I might have to just go shut that door in a second. TV's a bit loud downstairs. <coughs> just a little bit green there because you can see the brown. And there. Okay, so I like that. That's a nice painterly background. You can still see all that text coming through. Fine. Get the paint off the brush. Oh. Yeah, this brush needs a good wash. <laughs> so, stamping or white paint. So, let me just go and shut the door. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'll just grab some good old fashioned bubble wrap. This is the little one. one of the little things. And we're going to use the the white just so soon as it's out. Ugh, big splotchy mess. Get rid of that. I was a bit heavy handed there, wasn't I? Okay. Oh, and I've got green on it. Oh. We're having quite a mild spring in the UK. We had a bit of a, a windy spell yesterday and a bit of rain. But um yeah, people keep predicting snow and it's not happening. I don't want it to, I'm not a particular fan of snow. I like this lovely sunshine that we're having. Hmm. Do 
do I want to add the border first? Uh, yes, I think I do. So, book text or washi tape? Well, it seems I have a ton of washi tape and we've already got book text down. I'm going to have a look through my washi tape and see what will go nicely. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I found this pinky colour. Oh, mm, just so everywhere. Again. <laughs> so clumsy. Anyway, that's why you should clean up your space every now and then. <laughs> I just like to carry on and carry on and carry on. Right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bit more than I need. And I'm going to gently go down the length and tear it. Not straight, definitely not straight. Now I'm going to get in a tangle, <laughs> but it's washi tape so it shouldn't stick to itself too badly. Just do it gently. Keep on curling yourself. second and then we're going to put this bit on the top and then we'll go down the side with this one just untangle it a little bit And then I'm going to do the same, <coughs> excuse me, with this side. Try not to go too fast because you might just tear it completely off and I don't want to do that. Oop, like that. I wasn't watching what I was doing then. Here we go. Right at the bottom. My paint is still wet, so that's going to help that stick, hopefully. As it dries, it should grab on, I'm thinking. <laughs> But if you wanted to, you could wait till it was dry and then just add some, um, uh, medium or mod podge or something like that just to help it stick. Because washi tape doesn't always stay, does it? 
There we go. Oh, I think that looks really pretty. Um, I think I'm just going to fold these edges over. Because I'm not doing anything on the other side. Now then. And then I think we're ready to add our focal point. <coughs> Let me see. So I've added... One. Yeah, so die cuts. So let me just grab out my die cuts. I want to use my focal point and we'll carry on. Yeah, so I have my die cuts. I thought I had some more yellow ones, but obviously I don't. So <coughs> it's got to decide which ones I want uh, I think we'll go with that yep uh, let's just grab it. dropped it, sorry Let's just have a little bit of Elmer's glue for this. Just gonna just a little bit in the middle. Such a long time, I can't even remember where I got them from. I've still got loads of them. Loads. Okay. <coughs> now I need to grab out my string for step number one. So, be right back. Okay. So I've got this uh, burlap, there's yellow, but not burlap, baker's twine. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm going to use this PVA, put the line down there. Bit of the baker's twine in it. And then snip it. Oops, I'm doing scissors everywhere. There we go. And I'm going to do that for all the flowers. Uh, probably going to pop this into fast forward because this glue takes a while to come out of here. And it'll be a bit boring for you to watch. We do that over and over again. So, here we go. Okay, so a handwritten text, quote or phrase. <clears throat> now, hmm. 
Okay, so I'm going to write it up here with this chalk marker. There we go. <laughs> These chalk markers are really nice and bright. So that works really well. And that's it. So all that is left to do is grab I can find the date stamp. Today is the fifth, it's pancake day. Fifth of March. 2019. There we go. And that is the page done. So we've got natural fiber string jute or burlap, fragments of food packaging or labels, texture paste, the stencil, which you can't really see now, but it's there. Stamp with white ink or paint, add die cuts, add a border with bulk text or washi tape, uh, add gesso mixed with a colour and add a handwritten quote. So yeah, that's all the ingredients added. So thank you very much for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it's inspired you. Please do join the Mission Inspiration Facebook group and join on the challenges because they are lots of fun. So that's all for me for now. So see you again soon. Bye guys.